I'm back and today we're talking about used EVs. Yes, the market for used EVs is coming up and there's only one thing you must watch out for if you buy a used EV. Let's see what it is. Let's all turn on the tube. This is hot dog soup. First of all, I apologize about all the outside noises because all the windows are open because it's Scorchio today. Scorchio. Second of all, I'm not a car guy and I'm not a car channel, but I am a tech guy and I own a second-hand EV, so I've got some things to say. When I was shopping for my used electric vehicle, I stumbled upon a huge problem that affects all used EVs, but which no car dealership at all talked about. And also in car magazines and car YouTube channels, the real car guys also almost never talk about this. So here's what I found. Electric vehicles are relatively simple in design. There's not a lot of parts in them. Maintenance is relatively cheap because, you know, there's no valves, there's no spark plugs, there's no oil changes. There are all kinds of things that are in gas or petrol cars that just simply aren't present in electric vehicles. With EVs, there's simply not a lot that can go wrong or that can break down. Unless you have a Tesla, then everything can go wrong. Electric vehicles are basically just large batteries on wheels, and that's where things can go wrong. If the battery fails, then the car is immediately worth almost nothing. And that's where there is a huge risk, especially if you buy a used one. Take a look at your smartphone. It also has a battery similar to that in an EV. And over time, these batteries will degrade. Their quality will become less, they can charge less, and they will be empty more quickly. And that is where the problem lies. Lies, that's a word you should look out for. Batteries for electric cars can cost 10,000, 20,000, up to 30,000 euros. So if you buy a used EV, for example, 20,000 euros, and you have to replace the battery for another 20,000 euros, you're not really getting a good deal. So when you want to buy a used EV, the battery is all that matters and that's all you need to pay attention to. But checking out the battery is very difficult and in some cases it's even impossible. So how good is a battery in a second-hand electric vehicle? And how do you find out? Of course, electric cars have a mileage indicator, which states how far it can drive on the battery charge that is left. The mileage indicator is simply visible on the dashboard or the instrument cluster. But these mileage indicators are unreliable. Well, why is this the case? Well, first of all, these mileage indicators can be reset. They can be reset to factory settings, like the car is brand new, even if the battery is degraded and even if the battery is faulty. A lot of these mileage indicators for various brands of EV will be reset when there has been some maintenance on it. Mileage indicators in electric vehicles are guesstimates. They just calculate how far probably you can drive on the charge you have left. And this mileage indication is all dependent, of course, on your driving style, on the weather, if you use air conditioning, if you use the radio, etc, etc. It's a guesstimate. It's not a real actual value. So here comes the part where we really start to have to pay attention. The mileage indicator on a car dash is not an indication of how good the battery is. If you look at your smartphone, it probably has a battery state of health indicator. State of health, or SOH, is an actual measurement of how good the battery still is. A lot of people already look at the state of health of a battery when they buy a second-hand phone. But for EVs, this is much more difficult and it really is a problem. So once again, don't look at the mileage indicator. You need to know the state of health of the battery. And a lot of people don't know this, especially if they're not technically inclined. And also, a lot of car dealerships don't know this. And they don't tell their customers about it. There are three main problems that prevent customers from knowing something about the battery state of health of an EV they intend to buy. Research in the Netherlands, for example, has shown that 43% of car salesmen are giving wrong information about battery health in official brand car dealerships. And in brandless universal dealerships, it's still 32%. So the information you're getting as a customer isn't very good. Another problem is that large second-hand car sales websites almost never give any information about battery state of health. 
The third problem is that customers who do buy a used electric vehicle and who do complain about their battery health, they get told the same lies over and over again. The seller will simply tell them, well, it's your own fault, you're using the air conditioning, you're using climate control, your driving style is way too aggressive, you're accelerating too quickly, uh, it's the weather, it's too cold outside, the battery will degrade when it's cold, it's all just the way it goes. No car dealership will ever tell you, I'm going to have a look at the state of health of this battery, unless you really complain, and then it's too late because you already purchased the car. So why don't electric vehicles have battery state of health indicators, like phones? Why don't they have this? A lot of these EVs have apps. They have connected apps that show you mileage indication, but none of them show battery state of health, which is the most important thing. You need to have battery state of health information before you buy it. Before you buy it, not afterwards. Well, you may say, what are you complaining about? Because most of the time, if you buy a second-hand car, you will have guarantees and warranties. You have consumer protections. Well, yes, but how much would you pay for a used EV if you knew that the battery state of health is only 50%? Even more so, if the battery state of health was 50%, you wouldn't even buy it in the first place. And that's why you need to know battery state of health. So how can you find out about battery state of health? Well, you need access to an actual technical battery report. Most of the time, this information is only available through the ODB2 connector of the car. You have to connect a laptop to it and then you can read out this state of health information. Normal people cannot do that. And a lot of car dealerships also cannot do that. So there's a little job for car manufacturers. It's not just the dealerships that are lying to you or withholding information. The car manufacturers themselves are also doing their part. They don't really want you to know how good the battery is, even if you buy a new one. While I was researching this video, I couldn't find a single car brand that displays battery state of health information anywhere on the dashboard. Some car manufacturers do give battery state of health information, but most of the time they are only willing to tell you if the battery is over 70% health or under 70%. They never want to give you exact information. Car dealerships and garages also won't have that information in that case. They too can only tell you if it's over or under 70% health. So that is terrible, that's horrible, that is misleading customers. And you as a consumer, you're left in the dark, especially because second-hand EVs are a new thing. There aren't thousands and thousands of people who know everything about this. And that's why I'm telling you this knowledge now. Of course, there are companies who make products and things and devices and software and gadgets to measure the state of health of your battery. But that shouldn't be necessary. If you want to buy a second-hand car, you shouldn't have to buy another device or piece of software just to find out how good the car is that you're buying. And besides, these devices and software also have reliability problems. They also use the ODB2 connector, which doesn't always give the correct information. It's all a bit dodgy and consumers shouldn't have to go through all this trouble. Also, these testing devices and applications require you to drive around for a long time. Are you going to drive around for two hours before you buy an EV just to find out what the battery state of health is? Of course, you're going to do a test drive, but this is information that should just be available. So if you intend to buy a used EV, you must know the battery state of health. In some countries, there are consumer organizations lobbying to have battery state of health information made visible by law. Also, the EU is apparently working on laws like that. But that won't help you today. The only thing that will help you is demanding from the car dealership a written battery state of health report. That's what you need before you buy the used EV. Forget about the tires, forget about the brake pads, forget about all those things that can easily be replaced. You must have a battery state of health report. So there you go. That is the thing you must look out for if you want to buy a used electric vehicle. I hope this video is of use. 
Please like, comment, subscribe, even if you disagree. Unlike, comment also, and tell me what you think. Let me know. Well, really, don't subscribe. You know, all my other videos aren't about EVs at all. So, there you go. Have fun, and I'll see you next time.